focus of uh, our paper uh, are mechanical tests uh, that conducted uh, in order to understand the condition of uh, dish ends of pressure vessels uh, made by welding. Uh, this study was performed um, to investigate and obtain adequate uh, in science, uh, adequate in science, um, uh, into the state and behavior of the welded joints of plates for making dish ends uh, through incremental plastic deformation. Uh, the most commonly used material for making uh, dish ends is hot rolled carbon steel plates in a range of 200 to uh, 800 uh, Newton per uh, square millimeters uh, tensile strength. Uh, these materials have good plasticity properties in addition to the established parameters influencing the manufacturing of descent to incremental uh, sheet forming behavior of welded joints, which form a heterogeneous section of the descent, is st still not fully understood. So uh, this uh, research uh, focuses on uh, steel uh, S235, uh, one of the most commonly used materials for pressure vessel production, uh, and P460, uh, which is increasingly uh, being used as a replacement uh, for uh, the first one. Uh, different welding techno technologies were used for different thicknesses of plates. Uh, material tests were proven according to the standards as shown uh, in this slide. Uh, these ends for um, experimental research were made using incremental sheet forming method uh, from initial sheets uh, known as randles, uh, which were obtained from welded plates. Uh, so details for a weld uh, joint uh, are shown in this figure. Uh, this picture presents a process of incremental sheet forming uh, and the final shaping is uh, showing here. Uh, for the experimental purposes, uh, four dimensionally uh, different randles were created, as you can see here in this slide. Uh, so we uh, we had uh, two series of samples. Series one uh, are samples from the starting plate uh, shown uh, in this figure, and uh, series two are uh, samples from the plate after plastic processing, as shown uh, in these uh, figures. Uh, macrostructure examinations uh, were uh, conducted according to the adequate uh, standard uh, that is presented in our paper. Uh, no porosity, cracks or inclusions were observed in the macrostructure. Uh, so macrostructures image um, uh, is um, uh, image uh, are presented here uh, for uh, steel uh, P four six zero left figures. And uh, the uh, other uh, steel uh, S235 uh, 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 in right figures. Um, upper figures uh, present uh, uh, steel uh, sheet uh, of uh, uh, 15 millimeters and a lower of 3 millimeters. Uh, hardness uh, testing uh, was conducted on the transfer section of the sample uh, to identify any significant differences and assess their potential impact on other mechanical test results. So uh, tests were performed using Vickers methods. Uh, in this slide, um, you can see hardness test results for a uh, sample uh, for sample sheet uh, joint uh, of uh, P. Uh, Four six zero with uh, fifteen millimeters thickness. Other properties are shown in our paper. Uh, test uh, specimens were adjusted uh, by introducing a transverse groove uh, in the heat affected zone, uh, the primary area of investigation. Uh, typical tensile test curves for series one and series two are illustrated in uh, these uh, figures. Based on the tensile test results presented in paper, it can be conclu concluded that the measured values align with the standard properties of the analyzed materials uh, and the specification in the manufacturing certification documentation. Uh, the shape of the curves uh, confirms the ductile nature of the material. Uh, so impact testing uh, was um, carried uh, out on specimen with knots uh, to determine the tendency towards a bridal fracture. Total impact energy consumed in the heat affected zones 
uh, zone of uh, series two was reduced compared to series one. Uh, considering uh, the values of total impact energy are low, additional tests of fracture mechanics parameters are performed with the aim uh, of determining uh, the fracture toughness of the samples. Um, testing was performed according to the standards and samples uh, for the tests are CT specimens uh, of less thickness than the real dish ends. Uh, reduction in thickness was made uh, because the dish ends are specially curved. Uh, so uh, they're not uh, meet the test conditions prescribed by the fracture mechanic standards. Uh, CT specimens with thickness of uh, 11 millimeters are shown here. Uh, this is testing machine, uh, and test specimens are made with uh, mechanical knots in the uh, area of the heat affected zone as a critical area of the structure. So uh, this figure uh, shows uh, the procedure for testing uh, the fracture behavior of the CT specimen with uh, S um, with a CMOD uh, extensometer, which is recorded at as displacement uh, V. Uh, in the direction of force action, uh, actually a uh, load line uh, displacement. Uh, and we measured residual stress. Um, residual stress measurements were performed in the heat affected zone or areas close to heat affected zone. A residual stress uh, was measured on uh, samples before plastic deformation and after plastic deformation. So samples before plastic deformation uh, that's shown in a left uh, figure, have the highest level of uh, residual stresses in initial samples. And samples after plastic deformation, this is right figure, uh, show a decrease in the level of uh, residual stresses due to incremental deformation. So uh, we can um, talk about many conclusions uh, and I can uh, mention uh, some of them. Uh, we concluded uh, that uh, tensile properties are uh, above the standard prescribes, uh, prescribed values for the uh, defined materials. Hardness of series two is higher than uh, compared to series one. Poor impact properties at room temperature, which correspond uh, which correspond to brittle material behavior. Uh, based on the measurement of residual stresses, uh, it can be concluded that the effect of plastic deformation is positive in terms of of reducing the level of residual stresses. Uh, and thinner sheets uh, give better fracture uh, toughness results for the same material. Heat affected zone uh, made of uh, steel uh, P460 has higher values of fracture toughness and therefore uh, greater resistance um, to cracks uh, than the other steel S235. Uh, and calculation results illustrated that the smaller dish uh, and wall thickness of the series two is required uh, in heat affected zone uh, than the case of basic material in uh, heat affected zone or heat affected zone uh, of series one. Uh, the test results of the heat affected zone are relevant to the further exploration of the test samples, a relative low uh, resistance to appearance of cracks. Uh, increased tendency to breed of fracture, or maybe acceptance criterion to use at lower temperatures. So in general, um, uh, the heat affected zone of both uh, test sample, st tested samples has uh, poor crack resistance uh, and better mechanical properties were obtained uh, in the heat affected zone of uh, steel uh, 460. Uh, which justifies its use and sub sub substitution of uh, the first steel uh, uh, of uh, other steel, uh, S235, uh, in the production of welded uh, pressure vessel dish ends. Um, that's all. Thank you uh, for uh, attention.